Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. So TID Radio was kind enough to send us a Bluetooth programmer to test out to let you know all about it and whether it's worth buying one or not. Let's get turned around here and take a look. So once again, TED Radio sent us this Bluetooth programmer that they have put out. Um, the majority of this video is going to be uh, screen sharing from my phone. Um, since there's not a whole lot to show you other than the pictures I'm about to run of the, of the actual device itself. Um, so let's take a look. So you have the, the, the little box that it comes in. Um, it, it gives you everything you need, minus maybe a wall charger, right? Which we all have a bunch of those laying around. Um, they send a thank you letter, which I'm going to read it to you. It's kind of short, and I'll flash a picture of it up on the screen. Uh, we are writing to its, extend our sincere gratitude for your help with the improvements to our OD Master app. OD Master has launched uh, only a year ago from an idea to an actual app. We are aware there still have many improvements needed. Please feel free to send us feedback or suggestions. We will try our very best to solve it. In the case, if we're not able to, uh, they're going to provide you with a full refund. So one of the cool things I think about this um, and, and them putting themselves out there like that is they want to improve, right? A lot of times we'll see a product put out and it's that's just kind of it. So I think it's really neat that they want to help out. Uh, and, and make it better. The other thing that they include, I'm flashing a picture of this. It's a it's a it's a little business card that gives you instructions on how to download the user manual, the software, and then uh, an operations video, and then along with their website. And then on the other side, if you have questions or need customer service, um, they're on WhatsApp, they're on Facebook, uh, and it also gives you a phone number, right? So one of the things that you'll also see in this app is there's kind of chat rooms, and I've seen some responses from TID Radio on issues that people were having uh, with the product, and they went in there and uh, gave them you know, tech support via the, the chat on the app. So we'll take a look at that as well. You get a 17-page user manual. Uh, get your bifocals out for it. The print is rather small. Um and some of it doesn't follow along. So I think from what I've read that this is like their 2.0 version. They had a version out already. And um, it's, you know, it's it's new and improved. So I think this may be an older uh, user manual that comes with it. So I would definitely recommend going and downloading the uh, most current one. It does come, I mentioned, with a USB-C type charging cable. Uh, I'll flash some pictures of that along with the USB-C port that is on the side of the device, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I do Android, so I have a million USB-C chargers laying around. Sorry to all you Apple folks out there still using the old Apple uh, plug, um, but it, it you can buy a USB-C anywhere if you need it. And... Uh, you know, e easy to charge. I can tell you when I got mine out of the box, I stuck it on the charger and it, it needed about a 15 minute charge and it was full. So hooking this up to your radio and we're going to go over a list of radios that this product will work with. It's not a very long list, but they are working to improve it. Um, one of the things that TID Radio told me when they sent it, they said, hey, if you have some radios that it uh, doesn't work with or it's not compatible with that aren't on the list, send us the manufacturer and model number and we will work on getting them on the list. So I think, you know, once again, them putting themselves out there like this and, and saying, hey, we want to improve the product. Um, it makes me want to spend 20, 22 bucks to buy one, right? And we'll go over another uh, later in the video, some of the features and benefits of this product. And I think you're really going to like it. So when you go to plug this into the radio, and once again, just flashing some pictures up here, um, you're going to notice that the device is rather long um, with the with the prongs that go into the radio. And then it has like a little rubber type sleeve. And then the actual device 
it's rather long. You want to make sure you grip this as close to the prongs as possible and then insert it into the radio. Don't hold it way back towards the far right side of the device because you could risk bending those prongs and you've, you've kind of got to work it in there gently. Um, that way you don't break them. I, I think the little rubber sleeve is, is going to help, but it just kind of made me nervous when I first went in there to plug it in that I, I, I just kind of felt it might break if you're not careful with it. So after you get it plugged in, you are going to turn the device on. And I'll start screen sharing here shortly so you can see uh, how easy it is to connect. Um, but you just press the button at the top of the device one time. The blue light will turn on. And at that point, the device is ready to go. All you have to do now is download the app to your phone and get it connected. So let's switch over to my phone and we will show you the app. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and look for the OD Master app. Uh, this is the logo that it's, uh, it's going to appear. Um, I already have it installed. You're going to want to open it and you will be required to register uh, for the app. There are a few places in there that when I did it, uh, when I was registering, it asked for like my date of birth, but it wasn't clear that it was wanting my date of birth. Um, so you just need to make sure you you kind of read carefully and enter the right information. Not that it won't let you sign up, but it you'll have to go back and change it, which is a another uh, another lesson in itself. Uh, trying to get to the to the settings. So as you can see on here, it is not connected. So what I'm going to do over on the radio, I'm going to turn the radio on and turn the volume all the way up. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the TID Radio Bluetooth device. Now, make sure that you do it in that order. You cannot just turn on the device and it worked. The radio must be on for it to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Connect Via Bluetooth button. This screen will come up. I'm just going to click this. And it is ready to go. So for this particular uh, example, I'm using a Baofeng UV5R. I want to go ahead and show you, walk through the list of radios that it is compatible with. So here's the Baofeng list. UV5R, UV5R old firmware, UV82 version B. I'm just going to kind of scroll down for you instead of retyping them. Obviously, the Baofengs have the longest list. If you want to pick another radio, you click that. TID radio has several options as well. A lot of them mimic the UV5R. Here are the TIDs that are available. 10-way, just two models. Uh, Radiodity has quite a few. The GA510 is there. Uh, what is that, about six or seven models. Redivis has just a handful. On Soko, there's one available. Rugged has one available. Oh, I lost it. Intech has one available. TechSide has one. And most of these are just onesie twosies that it has. Let's go back down. Yeah, so just not very many, but once again, they are definitely willing to add uh, models uh, if, if they get enough requests. So don't be afraid to contact them if you know, you have a bunch of UV5Rs and you have kind of a one-off, let them know and maybe they'll they'll get it up on the list. All right, so I'm using the UV5R and 
Before we get into downloading from the radio or anything else, let me just show you a few of the other uh, areas of the app that you might find useful. You can move this blue bubble around wherever you want. Um, this particular page, the uh, POC beta area here, um, this is where you would go to find groups, right? So these are recommended channels. You can join different chat channels um, and go in there and chat with uh, folks who also have the Bluetooth programmer. Um, you can, if your friends have one, you can add them and communicate with them via the chat app. I don't think that would be all that useful in my opinion. I'm going to jump over here to the status. Um, this is kind of a chat room as well. You can see I have not yet joined the group. Uh, I don't plan on joining any groups, but these are some of the posts from the groups. There's a recommended group a radio configuration group, and then a repeater group. These are local ham repeaters in my area. I'm kind of just scrolling through it uh, so you can see. And you can click these, and it'll put it on a list to download to your radio. And then the last uh, tab over here, the me, this is where you would go to um, update your profile, Add a picture if you wanted to. Uh, you can click this, the APRS, and it'll take you um, to, a, to a site. You can put your call sign, your address, and then this gives you all the repeaters in your area. So I'm kind of zooming out. And once again, these are all ham. It would be really cool if they could add a GMRS tab uh, to this. I just think it would make it a little more handy. Maybe do a GMRS side separate from the ham side, right? I mean, not that we don't mind coexisting, but look at all the ham repeaters versus GMRS, right? So let's get back to the app. All right, so let's get into the programming side of the app. Already selected, it's a UV5R. I want to go ahead and read from the radio just like with Chirp or any other software, when it's reading from the radio, you're going to get the red flashing light on the radio. On the TID Radio Bluetooth programmer, you get a very fast blue flashing light letting you know that it is working. So it's going to open up here in a second. It's not super fast, but, you know, what do you expect, right? You don't have to mess with any uh, prolific drivers for the cables and all that. It's kind of just plug and play. The hardest part, once again, is probably going to be registering. So here you go. So every time you pull it up, it's going to bring up the suggested you know, tutorial where you teaches you what to click. So I'm just going to skip that, confirm, and here it is, right? So this is once again, I'm just screen sharing from my phone. So this is exactly what my phone looks like. And you have to select which channel you want, right? Now, I've already programmed this. So here's channel 1, 462, 6500, receive, 467, 6500, transmit. You've got the tones in there, high power, wide or narrow. And you come down to the bottom, you can name the channel. Um, you can if you have a bunch of blank channels i think let's see channel 82 yeah so it tells you right here this is a blank channel you can come in here and program it anywhere from 136 to 174 megahertz or 400 to 520 right since it knows it's a uv5r it knows the spread of frequencies you can plug in if you try to plug in anything outside of that it's not going to work for you so you can put in your tones, your transmit power, your wide or narrow, push to talk ID if you want it all on or off, um, and then the name of the channel at the very bottom. And then you can go to the next channel, all right? And up to 128 channels, including channel zero, right? Um, so you go in there, put in all your channels, update your channels, and then write it to the radio. So... 
I don't need to write this. It's already on there, but it works the same way. You click write. It's going to confirm. The green light will start flashing on your HT, um, letting you know that uh, it's, it's being processed. You can come up here and click the Save button, and this will save the file. Now, one of the disadvantages, and I've been trying to figure out a way, let's just say I'm on an airplane, whatever, and I want to update my list. There are some changes I want to make to the frequencies. I want to add a few. I want to take off a few. You cannot do it unless you have the radio out with the Bluetooth programmer plugged in. So you cannot make any changes whatsoever unless it's all hooked up. So if, you know, if I'm sitting at the restaurant with Dave and he's like, oh, there's this new repeater over in Uvalde. Well, if I didn't bring the radio, if I didn't bring the programmer, I just can't go in and update a channel. Um, so kind of a disadvantage. I wish there was a way you could open a separate file and then once it's connected later, have that uploaded to the radio. I haven't found a way yet. That would be one of my biggest suggestions. Let me go back. Um, it does have this offline button right here on the programming page. But once again, it will not let you do anything offline. Um, you have the program settings. So this is very similar, right? This is very similar. I, I have yet to figure out the difference between them. I have just been using the, come on, let's go. There we go. Uh, the, the read file. Okay. So um, pretty basic app. It comes with some good information, right? The, especially the, the chat rooms. Um, if it, and, and this is where some folks had asked questions and TID Radio actually responded, you know, with with their customer support and kind of uh, directed some of the consumers on how to uh, correct an issue. Um, I can tell you when I hooked mine up, I didn't have any issues. It connected right away. And and that sure beat the hell out of having to sit there and screw with uh, drivers for the cable. Um I think if TID Radio stays on top of this and they're able to add a bunch of different radios, it it's going to be well worth the money and make life a lot easier. Um, so all in all, you know, for 20, 25 bucks, if you have a bunch of radios that have the K-type connector and you find yourself updating frequencies a lot and you don't like messing with the drivers, for 20, 25 bucks, I would pick one of these up without a doubt. Um, some of the pros, once again, ease of use. It's compact, easy to carry around. You don't need a laptop. You don't need the cables. You don't need the cords. Um, there is a feature where you can update it through your PC. Um, I wasn't going to do that. I'm sure there are a bunch of cool features. If you update it uh, or if you use it through your PC, um, like being able to save a file. But if I'm going to use my PC, I'm just going to go in and use Chirp, right? This is kind of a, a backpack item uh, that I'm just going to keep in my backpack, my briefcase with all my radio stuff. Um, that way, if I need to make an adjustment on the fly, I can do it. Um, you know, we uh, our group meets for coffee every Sunday. This would have been great to have today because one of the guys needed something updated, uh, but I had it here ready for the uh, the demo video, and so I didn't take it with me, but it would have been nice to have. And then the last pro to it is, once again, it's inexpensive. 20, 25 bucks, you can't beat it. Some of the cons um, that I think they can improve, and they're, they're definitely saying they're willing to improve, it's limited on the radio models that it can service, right? Um, but all of the major models are covered. Uh, the other uh, the, or the next con is it must be connected to make program changes, right? I explained that a minute ago. The app, this app here is a little bit wonky, right? Um, I think they could improve a few things on it to make it better, maybe streamline it. And and I guess it's really not a con, more of a suggestion is just adding GMS repeaters for us GMRS nerds that uh, only want to see those um, to the app. I think that would, would make it a lot easier. So all in all, for 20 25 bucks, definitely pick one of these up. Um, 
very easy to use, very simple to use, making changes on the fly. I don't think you could go wrong with it. I'm going to flash this up here real fast and just want to highlight that we are at 399 subscribers. We have a giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers. So what I am going to do is this cool little TID Radio Bluetooth programmer will be included in the giveaway. So we're going to be giving away a Redivus Simplex Repeater Module and the TID Radio Bluetooth Programmer. So um, make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, your family. Uh, watch my videos, share my videos, and we are looking forward to giving away more cool things that are GMRS related very soon. We have prizes for the 750 mark and the 1000 mark. Uh, that will be given away. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you go out and pick one of these little guys up and throw it in your uh, bag of GMRS toys. I think you will really enjoy it. Makes life a lot easier not having to have your computer. I wish they had one for mobile units, right? Instead of having to find a long cord or go get the laptop out and go to the car, it would be so cool just to have one to plug right into a mobile unit that's installed in the car. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day and we will see you on the next video.